Welcome to another Nusita video. If you like it, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell, never forget our upcoming sessions. If you have any questions or hints, please leave a comment. Our certified QA experts will reply in time. Test Quality is a test management tool designed to streamline software testing by integrating with development tools, enabling efficient test case creation, execution, and tracking. It supports manual and automated testing, offering features like requirements tracing, defect management, and real-time analytics. The platform integrates with tools such as Jira, Selenium, and GitHub, enhancing collaboration and workflow. Its cloud-based or on-premise options cater to agile and DevOps environments, aiming to improve product quality and accelerate release cycles. Hello, in this video, we're going to have a look at connecting test quality to GitHub by creating an integration with one of your GitHub repositories. I've signed up with a test account here, so this is the first page I get to. You may already be signed up, and in which case you probably created your first project. I'm going to create mine here, test project. I could create an integration here, but as you most likely have already set up your project, I'm going to do it by using the link in the menu. With your new project, normally you would create a test case. So you could create a test case here using this button, or maybe you want to import tests. We don't need a test case to create the integration. I'm going to just go in and under integrations, and I can see here I have either GitHub or Jira. Today we're going to use GitHub, and we're going to connect to our GitHub. I'm already signed into GitHub here, and you do need to be an admin of the repo that you are going to connect to. But once it's been set up with admin access, your users do not need admin access to the repo to use it afterwards. What I'll do is, first, before we start adding these integrations, I need to just set up and authorize the test quality app with GitHub. I'll click the authorize button, and it just connects through to GitHub automatically and all you have to do is authorize. Like I say, you do need to be an admin. You do need to have admin privileges. And once that's done, it's going to offer me my test project, which is the project that I'm in. To connect that to GitHub, all I do is click the button. I can choose a project if I want to. If I had more than one, I could do that. I can also, if I have a different sign-ins, on my GitHub, different organizations under my account, sorry, and I can select the repository. Just click the repository I want to connect test quality to within GitHub. So this is my GitHub repository here, and click Create. Now we are connected to GitHub, where we've set up the integration. We've set up the integration, and we've connected our project to the repository. I can do some modifications here if I want to, depending on which status you want to match from either side of the integration. If I go back here, I can see that my project has been mapped to the repository that I connected to. If I want to delete that integration, I can come down here and I can click the delete button. Please bear in mind that if you do delete an integration, it will delete all of your defects and requirements that you have linked to GitHub because it will remove those links Thus, it won't remove them within GitHub, but it will remove the links. Therefore, you won't see them within test quality anymore. Let's create a test here. Just create a very simple test. My test. I could add a precondition if I want to. I can add different steps, such as login with password, an expected result, and extend the test with multiple steps. We're just going to go ahead and create this. So. I have my test. It's listed in the all tests list here. I can add that to a cycle, but I want to run this test now. I don't necessarily want to add it to a cycle. I just want to do an ad hoc quick run of this one test. So I can select the test here and I'll use the command menu to send it to run. I don't need any of this. It's just going to be sent straight to a run. Now, my test is in execution mode. I can see it here. And if I was a tester, I'd just come in and I can run through the different steps. So, log in with password, etc. 
If I find that there's a problem, maybe I want to fail this particular step. I'm not going to close the run yet, but I may want to log a defect because we're connected to GitHub. I can log that defect within my repository in GitHub. I can create a new issue, could not log in, next, and you'll see it send across to GitHub the information about the test. I can choose different statuses, priorities, etc. Let's just select the lowest priority and we'll create that within GitHub. So, if I look at my runs and defects here, I can see that this defect has been logged within GitHub. If I click on the defect here, I can see the defect and I can open the defect within GitHub straight from test quality and you'll see the labels that go in are the priority. I've got information here. I can say working on this and a comment. And then when you go back into test quality straight away, you can see the integration is working and I can do the same from here. Hello from test quality. And also I can do other things such as changing status. Obviously, you know what it means to close it, but perhaps I want to say, you know, this is a very high priority. And if I go back into GitHub here, you can see that the comment has come across and the priority has changed to the highest level. It's worth mentioning in the integrations. If you're going to connect to a private repository, you will need a subscription. And so you can just add a subscription here. If your repository is open source and public, then you can use our GitHub open source plan, which is free, or you can just add a subscription if you're using a private repository. Before we finish, let's just create a new project and we'll link the integration in the create wizard. For example, let's call it my project two, and I can select the integration from in here, GitHub, and I'm already logged in repo two create and I can see under my integrations listings, I can see the integrations from here. Thus, you can create an integration once you have that mapping. Once you have the GitHub integration mapped, then adding a project is super easy, either to do it from the create project, or you can do it from within the menus. If you like it, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and click the bell never forget our upcoming sessions. If you have any questions or hints, please leave a comment. Our certified QA experts will reply in time or even produce a separate video about your topic. Please also check out our other over 200 videos about software quality. Happy testing. See you next time.